OnePlus is a company that focuses on smartphone performance. They've been doing that since OnePlus One, which came with flagship specs and great performance. It is a bold move by a phone manufacturer to put the hardware in the spotlight rather than the software. And the OnePlus 5T is no different. A phone that comes with excellent specs and performs great when it comes to real world use. My name is Tarvin from KL Gadget TV and let's take a look at the OnePlus 5T. The OnePlus 5T comes with a full aluminium body which curves to the side of the phone. It is not easy to grip especially if you have big hands but OnePlus was nice enough to include a TPU case which gives the phone thicker sides making it much easier to grip and at the same time offers protection. On the front, the 5T comes with a 6-inch AMOLED Full HD screen with an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. The screen produces one of the most vibrant colours I have ever seen on any smartphones making the colours pop. The screen extends to the side of the phone leaving minimal bezels on the top and bottom. Because of this, the fingerprint sensor had to be placed on the back of the phone to make space for the screen and the capacitive navigation buttons are now replaced with soft navigation buttons. The 5T comes equipped with top of the line specs like the Snapdragon 835, 6GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. It is slightly disappointing that the 5T is still on Android Nougat but nevertheless the phone performs exceptionally well. I've been using the phone for 2 weeks and I've never experienced any lags or crashes. Apps tend to load fast, especially games which is probably thanks to OnePlus using a UFS 2.1 in dual lane mode. This means that there are two read sequence and write sequence that happen at a time, significantly increasing storage speeds. This is also the first OnePlus phone that comes with face unlock and I must say, it is extremely fast and accurate. The phone unlocks less than a second and if you enable the auto unlock feature, the phone will be unlocked before you wake the screen. OnePlus uses the front camera for face unlock so there are no fancy sensors or extra cameras that they use for this feature. Because of that, it does not work very well in darker environments. There is a feature called face unlock assistive lighting but I don't recommend you use this feature. It will max out the brightness of the screen which can seriously damage your eyes if used in the dark. The better, in this case safer alternative is using the back fingerprint sensor which is as fast as the face unlock feature. The company has taken a different approach to the dual camera setup. Previously on the OnePlus 5, it came with a main standard camera and the other was a telephoto lens. This time they've opted for a 16 megapixel main camera with a bigger sensor size and the secondary camera is a 20 megapixel sensor used for low light photo taking. Both of them come with the same f1.7 aperture. Sadly, the change in camera setup does not help when it comes to low light shots as the image produced contains a lot of noise and details are lost. Day shots are much better but I did wish that the colour reproduction could be better. Even with the removal of the telephoto lens, there is still a 2x zoom which is fine if you are using it in an area with good lighting but in low light, it just makes the noise more visible and loss of detail worse. There is a pro mode that will allow you to control the ISO, white balance, shutter speed and more but it does not help to get better shots. On the front, there is a 16 megapixel camera similar to the OnePlus 5 and the quality is not great either. Details are below average and there is noise when taking low light selfie. A beautifying feature is present but the effect is not as obvious as the other competitors. Powering the 5T is a 3300 mAh battery. It can easily last a single day of use when using the phone casually but using it for gaming or watching Netflix, the phone would need a charge towards the evening. It would be nice if they increased the capacity of the battery like what they did with the 3T but with dash charge, it can get the phone back up to 100% within 30 to 40 minutes. The OnePlus 5T comes with two variants, the first being the 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage which retails for 2,449 ringgit and the other is 8 gig of RAM and 128 gigs of storage which retails for 2,749 ringgit. So guys, if you are looking for a phone that performs exceptionally well but you can live with the fact that it doesn't have much features or a proper camera, then the OnePlus 5T is definitely a phone that you should get because no matter what you're going to throw at this phone, this phone will still perform very well. So guys, with that, I hope you like this video. If you do, do subscribe, do give us a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends. And with that, I will see you in the next video.